In this video, traders, I'm going to talk about the rule of three. What is it? What does it mean in the markets? Stay tuned. Hey, traders, a very warm welcome to you. All right, so the rule of three. What is it all about when it comes to the markets? Now, it's something I've observed in the markets in price and in human behavior and in my behavior and just generally uh, something that is worth bearing in mind. Now, is it something that's set in stone? No. Are there, are there studies about it? I don't know. Maybe there is, but it's just something I've observed and I want to share it with you. And you might go, you know what? That's a load of old nonsense. Let's go to the next video. You might go, hmm, that makes a little bit of sense. I quite like it. Let's just see if I can implement it or I've noticed it myself. Anyway, rule of three. What do I mean by the rule of three? So the first thing is, guys, three days. So very often, we get three day move. Now, of course, do we get four, five, six? Yes, we do. Do we get two days? Yes. But if you look at the majority of moves, we tend to get day one, day two, and the third day might well not be as strong and die out. So if we've had a kind of sell off, sell off, sell off, we sometimes get day one, day two, and day three may well be a kind of wick type environment. And this is common pattern. You know, if you happen to be long on a kind of breakthrough low and a push back, the third day, well, from my rule book anyway, is definitely the day that I need to be careful and look to exit, especially if we have that kind of movement or that kind of trade. It's the same even if we go to a, you know, an hourly chart, the three hour move tends to be when things might die off a bit. Now, does it mean that it stops and reverses? No, but very often things will calm down, supply demand will balance off a little bit. It may well go again, but very often we have this. Now, why is that? I tend to think my theory on the three day thing is that you've got all this the kind of day one where you know generally you might do a little bit of weakness on day one as well so you might get a bit of both so you get a bit of weakness goes through low then it kind of recovers at some point in the day and you get a solid green so that's like your initial buyers then all the news buyers if you like who see that are buying the next day and there's a little bit of continuation from those so day one is the kind of bottom fishers and people getting in and sellers shutting off. Day two, you've got fresh buying coming in for people just seeing day one close. Day three, you've got the FOMO. So you've got people who have missed the day one and day two, and they're kind of running in early in the morning, and then it kind of dies out a bit because there's no one else to buy. Definitely day oneers aren't buying, they're probably peeling some off. Day twoers may well be as well, uh, or if they are on their longer term, for example, they're probably not going to be buying much more. They're going to be like, okay, let's just wait and see what happens next week. And I don't really mind what happens. So that's my theory about it. And of course, if you're selling, uh, if you're shorting or if you're stuck long and you want to sell, then you know you see day one, day two, you're looking to see if we start to get a little bit of weakness. As soon as you see it, you start to hit it. That's why often you know day three is the turning point. So that's something to watch, some observation that I've noticed uh, quite a lot. The same with the three candles, three hours, similar type of concept. Okay, now we're getting into um, kind of human, if you like. Um, I find that you know the three trade rule. Uh, again, it depends on the time frame and all this kind of stuff. It's really quite good. If I have three losing trades in a row, I know that I'll be more concerned about my fourth losing trade. Even though it's not out of sample, it's not an unusual type of event, um, particularly unusual anyway, put it that way, uh, but I know that I'm a bit concerned whether I'm out of sync, whether I'm just not quite getting it, whether I'm just a little bit uh, not quite dialed in enough. One or two, not bother, three, yeah. But the, after the third, I start to worry a little bit. I start to think, okay, do I need to dial the position size down, do I this? And whatever reason that happens to be, again, third trade. Say if you gave like three big winners in a row, one fine, two fine, three, fourth, you think, oh, am I pushing my luck going for the fourth here? Um, again, personal experience. Uh, very often I know that I might get a little bit cocky, a little bit overconfident after three big decent trades in a row. On the fourth, I might think, listen, you're probably pushing it too much here. That might just be uh, you know, a false belief from my perspective, and I'm open-minded enough uh, and wise enough, I think, to know that could be the case. But maybe it's the same for you. Maybe there is this rule of three of, okay, once we have three of something, you know, we we tend to be uh, it tends to go into a different realm of how we think about it. Maybe that's why uh, supermarkets do, you know, buy two, get one free. Maybe they do these three for two kind of offers. Is it something like, well, four is too many? Three, yeah, it's about the maximum they can squeeze out of you uh, before you think, well, I'm now in a different category. Four seems like a lot. Three seems like a normal amount. I don't know. Maybe there's a psychology there. Any psychologists might want to comment in the comment section below for that. 
Um, and three hours focus. I think I find that myself, you know, three hours of dedicated hardcore screen time, like through the opening period, after that, I need a bit of a break. Um, and there are times, of course, when you do sit there and do a full day, but I don't think you're as efficient as you could be. Whereas if you're there for three hours, that's really the limit when I think, okay, I need a bit of break now, go for a walk, go for a jog, go for a swim, whatever you do, come back, refresh, happily do another three hours then after that uh, refresh. There's something to think about, guys. Again, don't have any scientific proof on this, but I do think that has some merit, especially when it comes to the price action three-day rule, three-hour rule. Take care, bye-bye.